Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. Thanks for watching. My name is Rich Tarani. Uh, this week we are in Boston, Massachusetts, speaking with a number of companies in the New England area and learning about uh, what's, uh, what's hot in technology, what's hot in communications, etc. And uh, on our program today is David Roden, and he's a director of technical sales of Coolcentric. David, how are you? Uh, good, Rich. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. So your company provides uh, enterprise uh, cooling solutions for uh, server rooms and, and IT, IT areas, right? That's correct. Actually, our solution is a rack-based passive liquid cooling solution, so it's very unique in that way. We're uh, agnostic towards, actually, our uh, customers' racks and equipment. You know, we adapt to their equipment, and we're completely passive, so it's highly reliable, highly robust, and very energy efficient. So if I have existing racks, I can just plug your solution in? That's correct. Yeah, we're not a rack manufacturer. We adapt to other people's racks. In fact, our solution deploys without any downtime, without uh, interrupting any of their operations at all. Now, uh, let's say I have... Uh, my data center and I, I need your services. Uh, can you give me an idea of what it looks like? What, what would the solution look like inside of my data center? Would, does it fit around the equipment, on top of it, in front of it, behind it, that, that sort of thing? Yeah, that's a great question, Rich. Uh, the re our primary product is called a rear door heat exchanger and it replaces the back door of their existing server cabinet uh, so mounts on the back, takes about six inches. It's the same size as the rack. Mm -hmm. All right. And then at that point, there are uh, flexible connections that go back to a remote pumping station that provides the control for the, so for the solution. So basically what happens is you're taking this superheated air and you are cooling it before it blows out into the room. Is that a way of describing? That's exactly correct. It works a lot like the radiator on your car, except in reverse sits in the hot air stream exhausting from the servers and there's cool water passing through the coil on the rear door and uh, then you have heat transfer and you have completely neutral air coming out the back of the rack. And we spoke earlier with a, another representative of your company who told me that your solutions are more energy efficient and so it seems that there, there could be some efficiency gained by not blowing all this hot air in a room and then blowing a lot of cold air in the same room trying to neutralize it. You're kind of getting it before it gets out there and dissipated into the broader server environment. Is that? That's, that's correct, Rich. Um, by not having fans, uh, we're just pumping water and pumping fluids is much more energy efficient than pumping a lot of air. In traditional solutions, you're trying to move a lot of air around and you rely on a lot of mixing and so forth. By bringing the cool cooling right to the cabinet, you short circuit all of that mixing and recirculation that causes hot spots in your modern data center and uh, cools it right there. Now, uh, we're talking about these data centers that have tens of millions of dollars of equipment and the, the question you must get a lot is that your solution while uh, solving a lot of problems, the fact that it's modular and, and has a, a new technology which is more energy efficient is great, but it's using water and bringing water really close to this equipment. What, what kind, I assume that question comes up occasionally, if not more often than that. How do you respond to, to that sort of thing? Another great question. And yet yeah, it sounds scary at first, mixing water and electricity, but if you remember back not too many uh, years ago, uh, there were plenty of water-cooled mainframes sure. in the data center, I tons of water that. throughout there. All we're doing is, and the traditional data center also had water right around the perimeter of the room. All mm -hmm. we're doing is bringing it back close to the rack uh, like it's been in the past. So really this is not a new phenomenon, it's just a, uh, a renaissance of water cooling at the rack sure. level. Also, uh, it's many of the high-end servers that are being reintroduced today by IT manufacturers, again, are bringing water directly to the chip level. So if the server OEMs are comfortable with it, you know, the data center owner and operator should too. Plus, all the systems are fully tested at the factory and so forth to prevent leaks. So uh, I grew up programming on a uh, System 360 mainframe. Oh, okay. So I'm familiar with the concept of the, of the water cooling uh, and uh, 
I've seen it close up, and it's, it's tried and tested. It's decades-old technology. It, exactly, and that's, uh, that's what our uh, solution is based on. Very reliable, very tried and true technology, and uh, it's just coming back into the data center. And uh, quite frankly, I think people are going to be uh, embracing it and welcoming it. And probably you recommend that the techs don't walk around with metal cleats in the data center. Correct. Nor should they uh, <laughs> carry chainsaws or drive <laughs> fork trucks around. Yes, I agree with all Other of those. Other than that, things. we're in good shape. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> so uh, if you're looking at a competitive product, like I know one of the companies in this, in this space that has a, a product that's uh, rack-based, but it's slightly different. Well, I guess it's pretty different, is uh, APC. They've got a rack-mounted AC unit where the, I believe the AC is in, in, inside the unit itself. How do you compare that sort of solution, which is, uh, on the face of it, similar because it's modular, to what you're doing? Great question. Their product certainly works. It's a sidecar type of unit. One of their key differentiators between their solution and our solution is theirs takes up additional floor space sits next to the rack, takes up half of a rack space. In modern data centers, that floor space is very critical. So by deploying that solution, you're automatically um, taking away white space that they could otherwise use for revenue generating IT equipment. Second, uh, that solution is powered by fans. So it has higher operational expenses. It has parts that need to be maintained, can break and need to be replaced. And also, quite frankly, it's pretty noisy. Hard to have a conversation with those units going on. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Is there anything else we didn't touch on while I have you on camera? Uh, not at the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for being here.